going on guys sir wayne here bringing you the final of the 100 map that we have been working on for the past couple weeks so uh what's happened is in europe uh, i had some troops arrive they're way over here now and the game's over but i'm just kind of showing you what happened uh so they landed in spain and um they were right there on our doorstep i think they had this providence and or this pro i know they had that providence and i think they had that providence and uh i my troops finally arrived and moved in on them and destroyed them what was left of them and then we pushed them back um uh, i think they had completely ran out of troops at that point <clears throat> and same thing here um i had this big stack here and they were bombing with planes i guess all their planes had died because i had a lot of anti-air there very good hefty stack um uh, for some reason as you can see they had you know there's the rest of their troops i wonder why columbia's there i don't know but anyway so for some reason they didn't keep like the most of their troops i guess they didn't keep it down in here or around here or even tried to defend that area but uh, so we just basically just kept the pressure up and kept attacking them, kept going, 6v3, and eventually we won. That's what happened. They ran out of manpower, couldn't build the troops. We tro took as many cities as possible. Uh, they had a lot of factories in this area, and we took it and got the W. Um, as you can see here, the victory payouts. Um, this is what the final standings up was. An odd man out with Spain. Sorry, Spain. He lost it by 50 points. So he could have got in if he had had, you know, 60 points. He could have got in and got the W. But it is what it is. I mean, but Soft King got the win with 280 points. I mean, if you can get a 100 win with 280 points, man, and uh, good for you. So, but anyway, let's switch over to the new World of War that uh, I just started. I picked uh, to start as British Columbia instead of Sacagawea or whatever it's called. So that way I'll be able to pronounce it. <laughs> now, uh, I'm closer to uh, Alaska, right next to Alaska. So if I that way I can just go north and go into Asia. And this time we got a full crew this time. We ain't going to be really teaming with anybody that's in the game unless they just want to be the sixth or seventh man out. So, um... <clears throat> So I'm going to move to Alaska and then over into Asia. Uh, we got my buddy, cousin, that's Japan. So, and he is moving into China, Nationalist China. Seems to be doing well. Um, let's see here. He looks really, really cool. I like the troops of Japan. They look really cool. Like, you can actually feel like when you're playing as Japan that you're Japan. I mean... I'm not even a country. I'm British Columbia, so it doesn't feel as good. But I wiped out Northwest USA, as you can see. Um, California is my ally. Alberta, we worked out a non-aggression pact, um, just because I didn't want to go that direction. <laughs> so, uh, and uh, let's see here. North USA is also an ally. And Ontario wanted to be an ally for whatever reason, but looks like Quebec is killing him, also an ally. But a lot of these guys, they they play with me a lot. So Doggers, 69, he got the win with me last time. Um, he was the South American country. This is Wavering Eyes. He was a South, uh, South China, one who took everything over there. Um, let's see here. Uh, Wizard was in a previous game with me. He seemed to be doing very, very well. Looks very promising. So we'll see what he can do in this 100. He did very well in the 22. Uh, West Yakistan was Colombia. He's on a different account, but he is, he was Colombian in the last 100. And I think that's it. But we have one, two, three, four, including myself, five and six. Uh, I think the odd man out is um, Dogger69. I'm pretty sure he was the odd man out as the sixth member of the team. So, um, But if anybody goes inactive, 
or quits. He'll be in the team to get the W. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But it's not, if somebody doesn't pull their own, you know, he'll get in. I mean, I'm not going to – if somebody's got 200 points and he's got 800 points, I'm just not – no. I'm good. So – uh, but anyway, the, uh, not much has happened on, uh, this is what, day one, day two, day, day two, so, uh, nothing's happened other than this guy over here, South India, talking a whole lot of smack about how you should join the winning team and this and that, because we're going to win, da, 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 and he gets wiped out in day, by day two, so, you know, just goes to show, don't be running your mouth in the paper like you're the greatest thing that ever walked, but, he never, he didn't have a single win, so I don't see, I think he was just trolling people because he didn't have a single win, so, I mean, how can you say this is going to be an easy win if we join you, but you don't even have a single win, so, but anyway, uh, I think I'm, move, I'm moving all my troops up to Alaska so I can go this way, and that is about it. I have, uh, based, I've got to uh, change my builds a little bit. I'm actually building, researching interceptors this time. Um, Air is going to be uh, a mandatory thing for me. Uh, I'm going to try to, instead of just overflowing a little bit too much with artillery and anti-air, um, I'm going to try to bring that down just a little bit, and try to be a little bit more balanced and roll like that um, but because um, I've got to make up for the interceptors and then I'm still going to do strategic bombers um, but not at a high rate and I just got to find the right balance of level of between each one and whatnot but anyway that's going to do that for this video thank you guys so much remember to like comment and subscribe